Hello, everyone, and welcome to the June 2020 update for Eternal Impact. Subscribe and ring the bell. That's what I'm asking you to do. And I'll tell you what that means in just a minute. But first, I want to look you in the eyes through this camera and just say thank you. Thank you for loving us, for the emails, the texts, the phone calls, the social media messages. It's just so encouraging uh, as you reach in to the life of Eternal Impact and know that it's about you. It's about the ministry, your ministry, and we are merely co-laborers with you uh, in order to lift up Jesus Christ in the midst of challenging times and able in order to help other leaders, uh, both emerging leaders and current influencers, to be the church, not just to go to church, but to be the church, to be the embodiment of the gospel uh, in everyday life. And then that's needed more and more uh, right now as we help others navigate through this very difficult time. So I wanna update you on what's happening with Eternal Impact. Um, I have told you over the last several months, the three main priorities. Number one, finish the epicenter bridge the digital divide, both locally and globally, as well as care for our current staff and build the team so we're ready to advance. So those are our three priorities, they still are. I want you to know that we're active in that and we're seeing a ton of fruit, not just in those three priorities, but in the day-to-day -day interaction with so many people, um, just great stories that are happening. And I encourage you, uh, stick close to email, uh, to social media, uh, to those areas where we're communicating regularly to see what's happening both here uh, locally, regionally, and globally. Uh, we want you to see what you're doing through Eternal Impact. So let me just give you a quick breakdown what we've had to do. We genuinely had to uh, reframe. We had to take a look at our current context, reframe stuff for the ministry. Uh, when you're thinking of vision and uh, you know going forward and strategic planning, you really got to reframe based on the context of where you are and your current surroundings and circumstances. And so those realities have uh, allowed us to recalibrate. So after reframing, we've recalibrated. We're changing things up. We're continuing to do that. We, we haven't got it all figured out. It's not all done. But in these times, you have to be agile, as we've talked about. And so we're continuing to recalibrate and prepare for what we really call relaunch. Uh, relaunching uh, the ministry, this 23-year-old ministry, in a fresh and new way for this coming fall and this coming winter uh, as we advance around those three priorities. So... Uh, I want you to know the epicenter is getting finished. It's so cool. Uh, the Remsburgs, Brian and Marianne from Adventurous Life, uh, they have moved in to be one of our campus partners at the epicenter. And uh, it's a privilege to have them. Uh, they are down there doing some videos and, and working on some stuff even today. And it's just been great to have them as a part of the campus team. Uh, we are also uh, finishing up all the little details of uh, the Welcome Center. We brought in new furniture this week. Those may, uh, social media, you might have seen the post that we did uh, of me having seven chairs, a box on the back of my bike, doing it like uh, Ugandan style, uh, bringing uh, things in for the epicenter. Uh, so just being fun and uh, really trying in the midst of hard and challenging times to have some fun and to really enjoy seeing these uh, commitments realized. And so finishing the epicenter has been great. We still need a refrigerator and some other things. We'll keep sharing with you There's some stuff we need and some volunteers. But overall, man, it is looking so good and uh, it's going to be great. So when the new website comes out, which by the way, will be coming out as we bridge the digital divide, which is our second priority. Bridging that digital divide is hugely important. So we have been working with our graphics team uh, and marketing team to be able to do a new website that's gonna be launched this coming July. So in the next video update for July, you will be getting links to a new website. And on that will also be details and pictures and uh, all sorts of stuff in regards to the epicenter. Uh, but really social media, that is where we have picked up our game. And so that is where I'm asking you to, that's right, subscribe 
and ring the bell. Uh, what I'm talking about is YouTube. You're gonna see a link on the email that we sent you as well as on our website and on, probably on any correspondence that you got this. Uh, there might even be on the YouTube channel, there's probably gonna be a subscribe button somewhere on here as well so that you can subscribe. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it's just right up above and next to it is a little bell. And you wanna click that bell as well because it will give reminders of all of the different uh, videos that are coming out. And we're doing everything from one minute prayers, two minutes of impact, five minutes of hope, plus special programming and updates just like this. It's only gonna grow as we bridge the digital divide locally, regionally, and globally. And that's why we're reaching out to our friends in Amaziba and uh, what we're doing in Uganda. And let me tell you, this last week, we were able to sign our partnership agreements in order to help Amaziba. We're actually just this last week have sent out uh, several thousand dollars to help stabilize some of the, the work and the needs that they have right now, just for the basics, for basic data, as well as some food for their leaders. Um, but we're also committed and have partners committed to support them in the launch of Amaziba operationally for their office and for Ellie, which is our staff person there uh, that will help with operations, and Elisha, who's the executive director. So, uh, so many exciting things, and they're going through really rough times. I don't have time on this video to share, but you can hit the website uh, or the social media for now, between now and July, social media outlets and and Amaziba, you can link to their site as well and just see all the things that are happening. So stick with us in that and you're gonna see more happening to bridge the digital divide with things like this as well as Zoom prayer rooms and other stuff coming up. So thanks for supporting that. And lastly is to care for our current staff and to get new epicenter staff that we desperately need uh, to be able to do operations, to train volunteers, uh, to do some social media work for us, updating the website, things that we really have to have staff for in addition to our current team. And let me tell you, when that epicenter goes live, as it will in weeks and months ahead, uh, and we begin to start welcoming more people and our operations picked up, and as we bridge the digital divide, man, staffing's critical. So that job description is being put together now, and one of the key elements is to be a coordinator for our volunteers, because we need you. Uh, there is a growing need right now, big time for volunteers. And uh, if you're able to support in that way, you will not be put to the side. We will welcome you, train you, and we're ready to have you come and partner with us in many different areas. Some things can be done from home. Some need to come into the epicenter, but with spatial distancing and all the stuff that's, that's happening, we'll work through it with you. And uh, we just love to have you as a tangible part of the team in that way. So that's the update. That's what's happening. Uh, our priorities are being met. And during these incredibly difficult times in our nation and in the world, we are reminded again that our hope is in Jesus Christ and the mission that Eternal Impact has to help other people live out this gospel, where they live, work, and play, to do it in a way that allows them to be a tangible, uh, effective distributor of God's truth and grace in the marketplace, in their homes, in their communities. Man, that's what we are about. Not just me and the team, but we, you and me, that's what we're doing. So here's how I'm asking you to engage all right, in a couple minutes we got left here in this update. I just wanna ask you this. Could you please not only subscribe and ring the bell, that's a big one, but I want you to engage in social media. That is where things are happening right now. So YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. We got all the channels. And I'm just asking you to connect where you're comfortable and let's share what God is doing through Eternal Impact and let's share posts and share the good news. So that's the one, sharing through social media and interacting through social media. The other one's volunteering. You heard me mention, we could use you. We could use you down at the epicenter, another place. Ooh, look at the sun coming through there. Wow, awesome. Uh, but we could use you. We need hands and feet on the ground. The amount of work has picked up immensely. I mean, a lot. So we need you. Whatever you can do, bring your talents and your time, and together we'll work uh, both at the epicenter and through some of you at home, but we need volunteers. So lastly uh, is, well, the last two things. 
uh, intercession. Uh, that's one. We need to be on our knees. So let's continue to pray and seek the Lord for how uh, we can see breakthrough for the ministry and for the gospel so that the kingdom of God will be realized through this ministry. So let's let's share together and let's pray together. Uh, lastly is giving financially. Let's not kid ourselves. These are tough times and they're going to be tough. And nonprofits are going to take a hit. And quite honestly, gospel nonprofits are going to take an even harder hit. So I'm asking you, let's pray together. Please pray about how you could step up either for the first time or in enhance the gifts that you're giving in order for us to partner financially to fulfill the mission he's put before us. So, so many great things are happening. I will see you on the next YouTube post or social media post. But in the meantime, uh, ring that bell, subscribe, and uh, know that you are loved. And uh, I look forward to hanging with you via video until... You can come to my back porch in this beautiful sunshine that's coming through and uh, we'll be able to meet face to face in days ahead. All right. God bless you. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon.